again everyone. I am back with another video for you and today I want to talk with you about my Outlander plans. Yes, you heard that right, Outlander plans. <laughs> I, like so many other people out there, am completely obsessed with Outlander. <sighs> it's my sister's fault. She started reading the books and watched the show and then told my husband and me about it and the rest is history. So anyway, I read the first book prior to seeing the first season. I read about half of the second book prior to seeing the second season. I didn't read any of the third book before I watched the third season. So with the fourth season coming out later on this year, what I decided to do was read it all. Not well, not the whole series, but read through the fourth book before the season comes out. And in between in the Outland Outlander world, even though they're not part of the main series, there is another series created by De Diana Gabaldon on um, Lord John Gray. And some of those books take place in between out of Voyager and Drums of Autumn, third and fourth books. Some of them are at the same time, but the consensus is you really need to read Outlander. If you're plan planning to read them in order, you need to read Outlander first. Um, Voyager. Come on, Jess. Voyager first and then go through. But from what I understand, you don't actually have to do that. It's just if you want to read it in order, that's the order that you should do. So, I got all of the books, gathered them all. Some of them are library books, so I'll have to turn them back in before I get this and then just check them out again later. Some of them are books that I own. And I calculated where I am now in the, in the series, how many chapters there are in each book, and divided that by the number of weeks that are left between now and the beginning of the series. And if I read nine chapters a week from my little schedule here, I'll have the whole series, well, through Drums of Autumn, completed prior to the start of season four. So want to go over that with you. Now, this only works with the nine chapters a week if you've already, if you are where I am in the series, and I'll, I'll kind of go over that with you. I've already read Outlander. Loved it. I have already read Dragonfly and Amber. This is book two. Outlander's book one. Dragonfly and Amber's book two. Now, didn't realize this until a few days ago, but there's a graphic novel called The Exile, which if you're going to read it in order, chronological order, you would read this after reading the first book, Outlander. This is a recap, of, well, it's a retelling, basically, of the events of the first half of the book through Jamie's perspective where everything else in Outlander is through Claire's perspective. This is cool. And I, I haven't finished this yet. I have started it. But it doesn't really matter, I, I suppose, on the, um, the reading order because, like I said, it just deals with the first half of the first book. So it doesn't necessarily fit in with my nine chapters a week plan. But it's a graphic novel, so I can read it very quickly. Okay, so in addition to having read Outlander and Dragonfly and Amber, I'm also halfway through with Voyager, the third book. Here's why I am going into chapter 34, page 428 of 870. So right at halfway through, and when I did my calculations, um, I think I was on chapter 32 of this book, 31, so I don't know. 
nine chapters a week. So I'm, I've got myself a schedule and I will read nine chapters a week from this book until I'm done. Then after that, I move over here to some novellas and smaller novels, not great big huge 800, 900 page books like these, but um, some pretty, a couple still good sized novels, but n not like this. So that was Voyager number one and my chronology here. So the second thing that I'm going to read after that is from this book, Lord John and the Hand of Devils, and I will read the first novella in here, which is called John Gray and the Lord John and the Hellfire Club. And I've got my little post-it note on here to tell me where what's which order. Then so that was number two. Then number three, I will read this novel, which is Lord John and the Private Matter, and it's relatively short. Um, it is, let's see, 305 pages, so shouldn't take very long, and still following along with my nine chapters a week, and most of the novellas some, well, some of them are really short. Some of them do have chapters, and so if it does have a chapter, I broke that out part. I think these are called parts, not necessarily chapters, but I broke it out treating it just like a chapter. So after I read Lord John and the Private Matter, I go back to this book for the second novella in here, which is called Lord John and the Succubus. I'll read that next. That is four. Then number five on my little timeline here is this novel, Lord John and the Brotherhood of the Blade. Can you see that? And it is, it's a little bit longer. It's five, almost 500 pages, but yet again, it's, it's not, the print is, the font is not nearly as small as it is in the Outlander books, the main books, and it's a smaller book in itself. So, so that's next. Then I'll go back to this book for the last time and read the third novella, which is uh, Lord John and the Haunted Soldier. And then I will be done with this book. Then I will go to this anthology. And actually, these, the, the, the anthologies in this book are in a, another book, and I can't remember the name of it, but it has several other novellas in it, but I'm only going to be reading two out of here within this time frame, timeline. By the time I get through the entire series, I'll read more of this, but the next part after um, Lord John and the Haunted Soldier... I will read The Custom of the Army, which is included in this book. And then I will read the final novel so far in this series of the Lord John series. And this is The Scottish Prisoner. And it's similar to the other novel. It's a larger book, um, 534 pages. Oh no, that's, a, that's an excerpt from another 518 so a little bit longer but so this is the next novel in the Lord John series then I go back to this book for the second novella and that will be Lord John and the Plague of Zombies I love that title and then I'll be done with this book, but there's still two other um, novellas from the Outlander world in here, so um, I'll read those at another time. 
And then I get to the final book of my little Outlander plan here, which is the next, <laughs> all my books just fell over, uh, the next book, book four in the main Outlander series, which is Drums of Autumn. And this is the source material for season four, which will premiere in September. I believe it. I based it on what the premiere date for last season was. I just figured it would be pretty close to then. I don't know exactly when it's going to be. They haven't announced it yet. But if I stay on my plan and it's sooner or something, I can just read 10 chapters a week or, you know, I can speed up a little bit. But I don't, I think it's probably going to be about the same time. And this book is, let's see, it is, oh, it's a long one. It is 900, or 880 pages. So it might be the longest of the main Outlander so far. Yes, it's 10 pages longer than Voyager. <laughs> Nine chapters a week. Not a problem. I've already started my reading plan, and it's going really well. I am, um, of course, still on Voyager because I just started this reading plan last week. So I will be finished with my ninth chapter for this week, and then I have... A, a whole schedule all the way through breaking it out and it was I'm kind of a dork so it was fun for me to do that so anyway that's my Outlander reading plan I hope you enjoyed it and I'm loving this world I want to live there I <sighs> it's been a lot of fun and that's another reason that I'm I'm really going to try to stick to the nine chapters a week instead of rushing through it because I want to savor this. I want to really take my time and and you know read a chapter here or there and just absorb it. You know, it, it's you know when you get into a, a series that you just you feel home. You just want to be there. That's kind of how I feel about about this, and I don't want to push through it and miss anything. I want to enjoy every minute of it. And then after the end of the season, then I have a bunch more books to read because then I don't want. I don't really know what comes next. Whether it's more. Um, Lord John stuff, or if it's more novellas, and the fifth book I, I also already have, and it's The Fiery Cross, so um, I'll go back to Diana Gabaldon's website and see what she recommends after that, if you're reading it chronologically, and then be ready for season five next year. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and indulging my probably unhealthy obsession with Outlander and I hope to see you next time like if you like this video give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and come back and see me next time thanks so much for watching fly high Pooh bear <laughs>